Man, Ramogi, I appreciate you joining us. Yeah, um, no problem. You know, how's it feel to be back in Canada for the whole Canadian game? Man, it feels great. I mean, I miss home, you know, so like I just, I just really am happy to be here, to be able to play against this type of talent at this level. So, yeah. For sure. And what's been your impression of the event so far? Uh, you get, got here, uh, being able to see some of the guys that you, you grew up playing against, playing with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the impression of the event, I've been seeing it like every single time I see it on YouTube, ESPN. Like I see guys that go here, that go even to the, to the league, like high major D1, and I'm like, I want to be in this type of environment, so I really push to get here, but I'm really grateful. I thank God I'm here. Awesome. And are there any particular players uh, you're looking to, uh, you know, you're excited to play with? Yeah, I'm excited to play with my guys from CE, uh, Tunde and Ifosa. Those guys, like, I've been playing with them for a decent amount of time. I really enjoy playing with them, and I'm looking forward to continuing to do that. So. Yeah. Sure. And what's been uh, kind of your experience at DME Academy, you know, making the trip down south? Yeah, make, taking the trip down south, my first year away from home, away from my family, parents, all that kind of stuff. Like, it, it was difficult, I'm not going to lie to you, but I really enjoyed that. I really learned my work ethics, um, how to work hard, and just how to manage my time and stuff like that. And I just, my game overall just developed significantly being over there. How do you think your game has developed to that aspect? I feel like I'm a better three-level scorer as well as like on-ball defense guarding one through five. I think I've been able to do that because I had to, I had to guard every position when I was there. Uh, I was one of the tallest guys there, so I had to guard everybody. And I feel like me having to guard all those positions, me have to play against all those positions, made me a better player overall. Just on, on defense side, offensive side, I had the ball in my hands a lot, and I just learned how to play the game a lot better. Slowed the game down for me. Uh, who do you model your game after and try to study on film? A lot of the time I try to study, um, there's a, a lot of guys that I try to study. I look at KD a lot, um, look at his uh, mid-range and stuff like that. Another guy that I look at um, is Chris Bosch. A lot of the time seeing how he plays in the post and how he just is able to play with the ball with the one-two dribbles. And then, yeah, just looking at a bunch of other all-stars and stuff like that. That's awesome. And before DME, talk to me more about your basketball journey. Like, you know, where are you from in Canada, family, stuff mm -hmm. like that? Yeah, originally I was born in the States. I was born in Minnesota. Um, but we moved to Canada when I was around eight years old. And then, yeah, I was more of a football guy before I started basketball. And then uh, saw my, I was getting taller, moved to basketball. And then, yeah, I just started playing for clubs in Manitoba, like Junior Bisons. Um, uh, TAP program and then playing for a team out of Toba for three years and then recently I played at St. Paul's in my high school my high school career over there and um, we won two chips two chips in a row um, and I was MVP and player of the year as well but my last year before I left so there I, I just developed a love of the game there and my energy and stuff like that for sure and let's turn to recruitment really quick uh, what's been the latest on that area in terms of offers and interests? Offers right now, I still have Maryland. Um, but aside from Maryland, I have an interest from a bunch of Big Ten schools, uh, some Big East as well, and also the Ivies as well. Uh, places like Yale, uh, Harvard, Princeton, stuff like that. What are you kind of looking for in a school of your choice? I'm, I just want to play. I just want to be on the court. I don't really care where I, my role is. I don't really care what happens. I just want to be on the court. I just want to play. That's all I really care about. For sure. And what is like, are there any like schools where that they're not you know, hitting you up right now, but you'd love for them to get involved? Like who would you like to hear from? Minnesota, because I, I want to go back home and play. I want to go back home and play. So Minnesota most definitely. For sure. Well, let's end with these fun rapid fire questions to continue to get to know you off the court. All right. Biggest interest, anything like unique hobbies, stuff like that? I like music. I play like six different instruments. So uh, recently I played piano, uh, tuba, drums. But yeah, I, I really love music. What's like your favorite song to play? Do you have that? Oh, that's, no, such, really. <laughs> that's such a hard question. It changes like every single week or something like that. Right now, I think it's like that with Metro Boomin. That's what I like right now. I really mess with it. Like the new album with Teacher. Right? Yeah, the new yeah. album. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. Then would you say they'd be your favorite artist? If we say favorite music artist? My favorite artist? Oh, man, that's such a hard question. I like, a, I like every single genre, so it's really hard to clump them all to one, but my favorite artist right now, 
I'd say, I'd say it has to be Drake. It has to be Drake. <laughs> Favorite snack? Favorite snack. I like, I like sour gummies. I like uh, Sour Patch Kids, the strawberry ones. Those are the And if you had a hashtag to describe yourself, like hashtag something, what is it and why? Hash, let me think about that one. Hashtag lockdown, because I'm just locked down everywhere. I, I focus, I focus everywhere I go, whatever I put into, whether it be on the court and defensive, defensively, school, whatever task I'm given, I just work hard and I'm, I'm locked in on it. So hashtag I lock, lock down. For sure, and if you weren't pursuing a career as a basketball player, what do you think you'd choose to do as an alternative career? Doctor, I'd become a doctor. Yeah, I really enjoy biology and studying that from, so yeah. Well, let's end with this last question. What's your dream NIL deal and why? Like a dream partnership with a brand? Let's say you already have a sneaker deal. Yeah. So you already have uh, that. What, what other brand would you love to partner up with? Um, I think Chipotle. Chipotle would be one that I want. I'm always eating Chipotle when I'm out. And like, it's just, just a good place to go to. And it always fills me up. So I, I, I would say Chipotle. Awesome. Thanks so much.